Welcome back to the BSN channel. Um, today is the sixth lesson. Well, I'm pretty sure it's the sixth lesson. Is it the fifth lesson? Sixth. Sorry for the mistake. But anyway, this is. Let's just say it's the sixth lesson of tree, a Santi dialect of tree. Today we're going to learn about body parts. Uh, before we start, I want to explain that you know bodily parts can be used as. Uh, idiomatic expressions from head to toe like yeah that's what you want to talk about isn't it like for example a tre uses tre the head from top down you can't start from the bottom can you no, I'm just t giving an example of how bodily parts are used to express themselves. Okay, so sometimes you might hear uh, a body part being used, but they're not even talking about the body part. It's to, it, it, explaining how they feel. They might be saying, oh, I appreciate it. Or, oh, you're a very bad person. Uh, but you won't hear that. It's not a direct language. It's a very expressive language. It's made very metaphorical. So they use body parts for different meanings. So anyway, we'll get into the, we might talk about that, but it will most likely be later lessons. So anyways, the first body part will be eyes. Any. Uh, any. And then you got eye. Any what? Any what? Eyebrow. Any a tongue, any a chin tongue, eyelash, any tete, any in tete, nose, a hune, a hune, mouth, I know, I know, tongue, ketrema. Ketrema is a son, a son, forehead, mama, mama, hair, it is me, it is me, head, it is, it is. Face. Any moon. Any moon. Shoulder. Betty. My Betty. <laughs> How do you know? It's my Betty. My Betty. Oh, that's the, the full name. Yeah, my Betty. Arm. Ensa. Ensa. What about uh, Bassa? Abasa is shaking one arm like that. Oh, whole. so that's one arm. Yeah, that's Abasa. Okay. Uh, chest. Kukuo. Kukuo. See. Stomach. Yefunu. Yefunu. Mm-hmm. Liver. Brabo. Brabo. Heart. Akuma. Akuma. Hands. Ensa. Ensa. Fingers. Ensatia. Ensatia. Thumb. Kokromotre. Kokromotre. It's a lot of proverbs used for that one. <laughs> uh, buttocks. As in bum. Buttocks. <laughs> a tour. A tour. So you know. Beyonce has a tour. Cassier. Yeah, nice one. Sorry, me, me kafra, man. Kafra. Anyways, um, back. Actually. Actually. Spine. Echikase. Echikase. I was gonna say. Echidumpe. But. Mm, but it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Echidumpe or Echikase. 
Cassette, okay. Because mm -hmm. I thought Cassette was the smaller bones, but it's not a big deal. No, Dumpe is the big one. Neck. A con. A con. A con. Beard. A body. A body. A body. Moustache. I not me. I not me. I've learned something there. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Say. Um, teeth. A sin. A sin. Okay. Cheek. Afro. Afro. Thighs or thigh. Sre. Sre. Knee. Kutujwe. Kutujwe. Feet. A nine. A nine. Calf. Your calf. And then two. And then two. Your heel. Heel. And then three. And then three. Sorry. That's immature of me. Breasts. No four. <laughs> no four. Well, that's, that's, what, that's what I was asking for as a baby, you know. For, you know, Nufun Swole. Some breast milk. Anyway, sorry. Navel. As in belly button. Fluma. Fluma. And then last not least, chin. How about you? Oh yeah, that, that's what I thought um, the beard was, a mm -hmm. But anyway, it's not a big time. Um, is it possible you could give us some examples of some proverbs using one of the body parts? <laughs> I just pick any, because there's many, there's okay. one for a and today, you know. Okay, we'll see you and you that. So, say the proverb you're using. And then break it and explain it. You gotta say it in English first, and then. Uh, okay. But it has to be simple, like menace or something. It can't be too deep. Okay, like. Uh, Tremodin or Enimguasia. You know, that's like using the body parts. There's many. Unsetting your da, and tisa unsayum. Meaning, if your hand, the back of your hand is not tasty. To you, it doesn't mean inside the actual palm <laughs> isn't. Why? I will explain this a bit. Why? It could be there was not, there wasn't any soup at the back of your hand, mm -hmm. so that's why any it, it won't be tasty. But when you look at it, you don't use the back of your hand to dig something. So definitely you might have dig it with your palm. So and this one say it's not like inside. I'm searching your dying to someone say it. That's a funny one, you know. That's yes. That makes me laugh. <laughs> um explain what does a tre mean? It's a modern is somebody who is wicked actually. And what part of the body are they using? Because this is about body parts, it's using. When they say to modern is somebody who is who's got calculated mind, who is not straight, and you cannot get to know what that person is thinking of. Okay. I suppose it's a wicked person. It's a wicked person, you see. It's very expressive language. Mm. Literally, a tremor dine means inside the head is hard. Yeah. Mm. So, it, it, who doesn't it, forgive? He's hard headed. He's not. He's mm. wicked. wicked. Yeah, many, many different meanings have mm. it. But it's not a positive meaning. It's no, negative. No, it's negative. Yes. Um, it's a trying to think of any more is there any? I know there's many many more I mean how do you say uh you you've got courage I know it uses the kuku the 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 chest to say that one so your chest is heavy 
Wakukudro, which means you do stand up tall. Mm-hmm. It means your chest is your your bold. Yeah. So if I was to say in a sentence, I am bold, how would you say it? I am bold. Yeah. Like I am me, I have co- coverage. Yes, me 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 near to me. And I'm a wakukudro. Me kuku edu. Say, repeat that one more time. Me kuku edu. Meaning I can... Me kuku edu. Do. It's strong. It's heavy. It's heavy. Meaning... Like nukwari. I, I can... Um, nukwari, I mean. I can face anything. You can face anything. Okay. Yeah, bold. Well, we'll end it there. You know, special thanks for my mum to, and you know... Help him with the pronunciation, you know. Midawa CP, you know. Um, if you liked it, like. If you didn't, dislike. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe. Uh, peace. Okay, welcome back to the BSN channel. Today is the fifth lesson of tree. The Asante dialect of tree. This won't be a long lesson. This will be... A short, a little fun lesson. This is about things around the house.